morning and welcome to Wednesday and the vlog. My voice is really weird this morning and I don't know why, but I'm sure it'll be okay. I've been having massive issues with this. I explained a little bit in the vlog that I'm about to edit, which will be up, and it's one, I mean, I think I've talked about it before, like sometimes turning these on is so annoying because they've got a button and you hold the button and sometimes it works and sometimes it's like no and same with turning it off, but and you gotta make sure they're both on. That's, I've done that stupidity lately, but this thing, and so I'm a little bit concerned because my shotgun mic plugs in in the same port, this thing keeps popping out and so I keep losing footage. Like the other day I lost my end clip and like two clips or three clips in the morning and then today I was just getting ready to edit the vlog and I lost an entire haul or unboxing it wasn't really a haul it was just a label maker uh, but unboxing and my end clip again because the stupid thing here came undone so I'm hoping that this one will stay in there better but I don't know I'm just getting really frustrated about it so we're going shotgun mic today these need to be charged anyways at some point and um yeah, so, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is about 11. I woke up just before 10, and I have just been being very lazy, um, <laughs> watching vlogs and all that. I'm gonna get dressed here in a minute, though. I think I'm gonna do laundry today, because I should probably do it, because it's been, like, a week. And, um, just try to have a productive day. Yesterday was... no writing happened. I got home from work and I crashed pretty hard. I tried to read these notes that I have for my story that I'm currently working on, and by notes I mean like passages, um, but I just, I passed out, and it was not a good sleep, and it wasn't great, but oh well. And then I did no writing, I did invoicing, oh, and I did, I've been cutting out masks, as you know, in my spare time so that I just gotta find it so that when my sewing machine eventually ships and get here get here gets here it still has not shipped I can just start sewing I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the straps but my mom says they're gonna probably have to start wearing them at work and so she was like well you might as well make me one and so I embroidered a little mermaid for her to go on one of her masks hope that hope you heard me because shotgun mic but yeah so little mermaid to go on one of her masks and it's super cute so that's a thing I did yesterday <laughs> and I also labeled the notebooks that I showed in yesterday's vlog but I also labeled a bunch more sitting on my bed so we're making progress I think I need to switch to the other label stuff that I got which is black on clear for some of the other ones but for now we're good and we'll just do it as such but I need to go make food because I'm all of a sudden starving so I'm gonna get dressed in some regard I don't know like my sweatpants that I usually wear and have been wearing for like the last week are pretty pretty in need of a wash so I'll have to dig through the closet and see what else that I can find that's super comfy or maybe pajama pants that's also an option all right I'll check in with you in a bit alrighty so I had to change my shirt I don't know if I vlogged in the last shirt but I was eating craft dinner for lunch and I just <laughs> we made a mess it is fine it is now quarter to two I just went and put my laundry in like a responsible adult and um vlog is up my mom just got home she picked me up the thermometer which is something that I've wanted for a while because I think I mentioned it but there's uh, University of I want to say Southern California San Diego something like that they've teamed up with the people that make my ring to see if the ring can predict changes in the body that result in COVID diagnostics, diagnoses, diagnoses. It was because this one guy had like a massive spike in his temperature and then he got tested and he had COVID. And so they've given 2,000 of their aura rings to healthcare workers and so they're all doing this survey and then they opened it up to anybody else because obviously the bigger spectrum of data they get the better and so one of the questions they ask is did you check your temperature today and like I didn't have a thermometer so I have one now so I can add even more data to that which is really interesting she also bought more sugar which we did not need I don't know if you remember the vlog where I organized the cupboards and I was like mom why did you buy more sugar like we already had 4 kg 
well now we're back up to 8 kg <laughs> she's like well I emptied it it's like yeah but you just emptied it into a jar it's not like you used it all so we have so much sugar now and even better <laughs> yesterday I was going through the freezer to try to find chicken because we're having chicken tonight so to pull it out and um I was like, oh look, we have another roast. I didn't know we had this roast, so that's exciting. And then I looked down a little bit further in the uh, deep freeze and I saw the telltale handle of a turkey. <laughs> if you've been around here for like the last couple weeks, you'll know we had a turkey pretty recently uh, <laughs> because it was like a free one that my mom had got probably around Christmas time. And we're like, oh damn, we should eat this and also it'll give us a lot of freezer space. And then the following week, she came home from her shopping and the free item was a turkey. So then we had another turkey and then last night I found another turkey. <laughs> it's just like I am going to remember the whole like quarantine situation as like quarantine turkey where we just ate a lot of turkey. So there's at least one more down there and now I'm like could there be a second one down there? Like do we have two turkeys in this deep freeze? And so I think at some point I want to go through and like not invoice, inventory everything to see what we have and then just kind of have a list that we keep on the fridge or something so we always know what we have because I'm that type of person. I'm a logistics person. This is the kind of stuff I like. But yeah, so I was like, are you kidding me? Another turkey. So whatever it's fine anyways it's getting really hot out right now and I had my fan off for a while which was a stupid decision I might actually have to pull out another fan here soon I have an air purifier which is pretty good at circulating air and then I also have a Rowenta fan and like I have a Dyson over here Dyson which I love because it's got a heater and a fan I need to spray it out. I need to get compressed air. I should actually put that on my list right now before I forget. And then I have, so that's great and it's pretty quiet, but I have a Rowenta fan that I paid like, it was like a hundred and something dollars, which is ridiculous for a fan considering you can get them for like 15, but oh my God, this one is so powerful and it's like silent. Dyson says they're silent. This one is so much more silent. So maybe I'll get that out. Maybe I'll like put it up there or something. Yeah, because I can guarantee you as we get closer to summer, this room is just going to suck <laughs> because the sun shines on it like all day, which is great. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I'm making pretty good progress through my list. I think next I'm going to get into this, which I tried to read yesterday and then fell asleep and died, um, <laughs> just so I can see where the story went at one point. And um, then we'll kind of see how the rest of the day goes. I got like 24 minutes until I need to flip my laundry, so... Alrighty, so I managed to get through the notes that I had taken before. I had to go switch my laundry, so that's a win. But I think my favorite part was like halfway through a paragraph, I switched from third person to first person. And I don't know if it was intentional. I was just like, no, no, I want to write this in first person. Or if I just switched, which I think is hilarious. There wasn't much there. Um, it had some of the problems that the other thing I read had, <laughs> so but that's okay. It's good to know I, where things were going. And by the other thing I read, I mean that piece of trash that I found typed up in my ottoman that was just, like just so bad that I couldn't even read it all. But they weren't as bad, <laughs> so that is good. I feel good to have that done though, and also my stupid mics that I'm mad at right now are charged, so... That's a win at least, even though I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the day using my shotgun mic um, until I feel like dealing with these. But like watch, knowing my luck, this cord will unplug too. It's not, but I'm just all paranoid about it now. Anyways, basically I'm doing great on this list. Like I am not like almost done, but like I'm almost done. My mics are charged, my laundry's in, like... We are making a good move. So, I might even go, maybe I'll go outside today, like, for a walk. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But, <sighs> I just want to touch in with my, like, stupidity of switching point of views. Like, a lot of my stories, and this one in particular, I've got a ton of different excerpts that I've written, and some of them have been in third person, and some of them have been in first person, and then third person, and then first person. So, it doesn't surprise me that I switched halfway through come to think of it I'm not sure what point of view I'm gonna write in but we'll figure it out when we get closer it's fine we still have all this writing to do I think I'm gonna skip the stuff that I didn't get done yesterday and I'll just add it to the end of the list the, the stuff I didn't type up and then um we'll go from we'll figure it out I don't know it's just it hard sometimes <laughs> 
Hola, wait. There we go. Um, I don't know when I vlogged last. I feel like it was forever ago. It is quarter after 10. I did my laundry. I have folded my laundry. It's still on my bed, which is a problem. It's probably just going to go back in the basket. But it's fine. I did no work on my writing stuff because I just I didn't feel like it. <laughs> um, I was I was going pretty strong and then I was like I'm gonna fold my laundry and then I like laid down and almost fell asleep on my laundry and then I folded my laundry and then I almost fell asleep on my laundry so that's the thing and then it was dinner time so I had dinner and and then showered oh I worked out that was the thing I did so good job me but I don't know I was just really unmotivated today to write or anything or I mean okay in all fairness, I have done everything on this list and it goes all the way down except for my writing stuff and putting my clothes away. So, also do you see I moved the, the Coke cans back there? <laughs> I don't think the recycling places are open so I don't know what to do. I have capacity for about nine flats of Coke, <laughs> which is a lot. Might be enough to get me through. I drink a lot of pop. I drink too much pop. I'm trying to drink less pop, but the problem is there's the fridge right over there. And especially when I'm writing or whatnot and just sitting here, I just, like, need to snack, generally. But if I'm being good, I haven't really had a lot of chips lately, mainly because we don't have any in the house and I'm not going shopping just for chips. So, anyways, I think, uh, let's see, it's quarter after ten. I think I'm going to go downstairs and get a snack because I am a bit peckish and then figure out what, if anything, I want to do for the rest of the night. We'll see. Also, it got up to like 22 degrees today, which was stupid. It was so hot. Um, and it's still quite warm. Slash, I'm warm because I just got out of the shower. I don't know, but I'm going to go into work tomorrow, so that's a thing. So I'm going to be up early, and then maybe after work we might do a Valmalt because I want to get thread and stuff. It's on the list. I have a pretty lengthy list because I haven't been to Walmart for a month. You can't see that at all. But I haven't been to Walmart for a month and um, I don't intend on going back. <laughs> I mean, at some point I'll probably go back, but at this point I do not intend on going back anytime soon. So at probably at least a month, which would put it like May 15th or something. So yes, that's where we're at. And then I guess again probably in June before I go to Blind Channel whenever that happens. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, I'm just rambling now, but I just have not felt like being social today. Is this being social? It's kind of being social. I don't know, it's just been a day. Not a bad day, just a day. And I'm just tired all the time. And I don't know if I'm tired all the time because I'm just sick of being in the house or if I'm tired all the time for other reasons. I don't know, but I do know I feel good when I'm creative, and so I should really do these things and not be such a whiny baby about it. <clears throat> but now, I'm like, if I don't do anything today, I'm one, two, three, four, five. I'll be five sheets behind. And then I still have a bunch planned for next week. So, yeah, I just need to get off my butt and start doing things. Also, I use super cute washi tape. Look how cute it is! Anyways, hopefully something will click and things will get better for my motivation. But honestly, I just kind of go to sleep, which is totally cool. But I'm going to get a snack and I will check with you before I finally pass out. I hope. <laughs> Alrighty, so my decision... I ate some crackers and I listened to some more Harry Potter and played my motorcycle racing game. I don't know, I'm just like really into that one because it's great to pick up and go and I don't need to think, which is perfect for when you're listening to an audiobook because I find like if I try to read anything or think, I just, I struggle. I'm sad though because I think I'm on challenge number or level whatever, number like 96 and so there's very few left until I get to the end but I haven't been able to beat the next one because it's when where you gotta like do a wheelie basically for 80 seconds and I keep crashing so I just keep playing the other levels it's fine I know this is really fascinating anyways it is now just about 
11.30, so I think I'm going to climb into bed. I put all my laundry, the clean laundry, back in the laundry hamper because I didn't feel like putting it away, but that is fine. I'll do it tomorrow. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go to sleep. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's day. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow, very likely, when we do similar things. Good night.